in this video, I want to talk about how we add in a jog button that will allow the PowerFlex, when activated, to just run and be able to activate and deactivate it using this yellow button uh, that is labeled jog. We're going to learn this on the PowerFlex 525 on TII Technical Education Systems model ACD 525 VFD trainer. Now this PowerFlex is already set up for three wire control using the start and the stop button. So we're going to add this in to that. And if you want to learn how to program the start and stop three wire control, I will add a link to the video in the description below. We're going to go ahead and come in here and hit select. This would usually start off in the B's. So if you're just looking to add a jog button and nothing else, we are going to need to go ahead and scan up to the T's, hit enter to enter into there. You're going to go to T63, enter into there, and that is set to five. And we're going to bring this up to eight, which is the jog function. So we're going to hit enter here. This has now been set to jog. I'm going to hit escape three more times to get back here. The jog button will be used to jog this to whatever preset frequency this has been set to. So this case comes in the factory setting of 10 hertz. So when I activate the jog button, it will go up to 10 hertz. I let it go and it goes back down. The three wire control is still working and that will go up to whatever frequency the keypad potentiometer is set to with the stop button. But if I need to jog this forward, let's say it's on a conveyor belt and every once in a while when the e-stop activates, it gets out of sequence with where it needs to be. So they add a jog button in here so the operator can activate the jog button to move the conveyor belt forward at a pretty sold pace, this case of 10 hertz. And that 10 hertz can be adjusted in the PowerFlex menu. So as always, thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you very much.